the engine is built purposely for the Z06. It's designed clean sheet of paper, all brand new for the Z06. It shares no parts with any other engine that Chevrolet or General Motors has ever built. With the eighth generation Z06, we wanted to get back to our naturally aspirated roots. A naturally aspirated engine gives a driver feedback in a way that a supercharged engine just doesn't do well. Because it was a clean sheet design, we weren't held to any of the old rules. We all sat there and said, is this the best way to do this? Is this the absolute best way? We need to make this Street Z06 the best possible car ever, and then let's chase that down. We knew that we had to exceed performance of the seventh generation Z06. Well, how do you do that without the supercharger that was built into that engine? You do that by an engine that breathes better. The way to make it breathe better is to make it rev higher, to make it flow more air, and that's the impetus behind the flat plane crankshaft and the dual overhead cam. What allows a flat plane crank V8 to spin and rev so quickly is the fact that you have very low inertia in the crankshaft and essentially the entire what we call crank train, which would be the pistons, the rod, and the crankshaft. You're able to reduce the size of the counterweights compared to a cross plane, and everything being lighter, it just spins faster. So we started testing out the technology for the never before done naturally aspirated V8 with the overhead cam. We put that in the race car to make sure that it would give us everything that we needed. And it has spent two years in the race car thriving and doing well, so we knew it was great for the production car when the Z06 was launched. Learnings that we captured in that event were able to carry us forward to then turn around and get the championship in 2020, both the manufacturers and drivers. We also won the manufacturers and the drivers championship in 2021. A flat plane crank allows you some unique ways to tune both the intake and the exhaust. Within the manifold, there's actually three tuning valves, and then when you have the tuning valves, you're actually able to change the internal volume of the intake manifold, and you can stitch that all together to give you the maximum across the entire RPM range. When you have that high volumetric efficiency, the way the engine can really breathe, you get not only something with a high RPM limit, 8,600 RPM, but it gets there so quickly. It basically, it seems like it never wants to stop pulling. It just pulls and pulls. It does not, you don't feel the power really tapering off. To touch the throttle is uh, like an F1 car. It's just an instant blat of flat plane crank titanium connecting rod fury. We've done some unique things on this engine, such as where we place the fuel injector. It's on the exhaust side versus the intake side. We've done a purely mechanical valve train. We've done a sealed bay individually scavenged dry sump system. And it's one of the really neat aspects of this engine. So the LT6 program, we had codenamed Project Gemini. There has been a long association with astronauts and the space program with Corvette. Gemini is obviously the zodiac sign for twins, and there is a twin theme throughout the engine. Twin throttle bodies, twin intake plenums, twin sets of exhaust and intake valves, twin sets of camshafts, twin fuel pumps. So it's throughout the engine, and it really ties everything together. Knowing that you're driving this piece of machinery that becomes an extension of your body is a very visceral experience. The flat plane crank, the high RPM, the freedom we've been given to put all this race car in a street car is, is just incredible.